Hey everybody out there. Um, so I wanted to go over, uh, you know, like vintage guitar sounds and stuff like that. Um, take a look at this guitar. I'll tell you what it is later, um, but I'm going to give you a, a close-up look at it now. So I think she's pretty. Um, so I'm just going to do a little playing and uh, I'll tell you what's going on. All this stuff is uh, unscripted and improvised and unedited, so forgive any mistakes. <laughs>
So, anyway, this is an Orville guitar. It, uh, it's my, my version of a 1958 Les Paul standard. Um, it's got Burst Bucker Pros, and, uh, I don't know, man, it's just, I think, a really nice guitar. Long tenon neck. Um... And what I'm going through is a Fender Super Champ XT or something like that. And it's got amp modeling based on some of their old Tweed amps. So this is like a, a model of an overdriven Fender Tweed, which I guess can be a lot of things. But um, So I see these guys playing their $250,000 bursts and going through vintage amps and, and you kind of wonder you know is it is it really worth it and if you had one would you really take it out and play it live you know some guys would but um i'm not sure i would do that even if it was insured but uh yeah you know i think you can get pretty close to that vintage sound with Newer equipment, newer guitars, newer pickups. Um, and I mean, how far off? I mean, is it really worth that much money for for that tone? Is that holy grail really just some kind of fantasy? Or, you know, is it pretty close to being attainable for a thousand bucks? Uh, you be the judge. Have a good one.